In this video, we're going to have a look at all things to do with printing and sharing your quotes. So we're going to have a look at the different layouts on offer. We'll have a look at the edit options and how you can make your quote look its best. And lastly, we'll look at the different delivery methods you have available when sharing that out to your clients. So into my Build Exact account, I'm in the quote letter tab up the top here. And the first thing I want to point out is the select a different layout button when you get in here. So depending on if you're in a, a, you know, a fresh new account or if you're in an existing account, you might see this slightly differently, but everyone will at least have the build exact custom layout, which is the default one, and the build exact print only layout. So the custom layout, this is uh, quite a polished style of quote. It's got a front image, a back image, and a lot of nice formatting. The print only layout is the same exact information, but it is minus the front image, back image, and most of the, the, the styling. Uh, in fact, it's more of a black and white style of quote. Both have their place. So definitely have a poke around in here and see which one fits you best. If you're in an existing account, you might even have you know, several more in here as well where people have gone through and saved their existing layouts. As part of this video, we'll also look at how you can use this button here to do just that. So going back to the custom layout, when you are editing and changing this, you're going to be focused on these buttons down here. And the way to look at this is that each of these represents a section of the quote. So if I was looking at this and I go, well, I, in my quote here, don't want to show every detail, every quoted item, but I instead want to uh, prioritize the specifications. I might do something like this where I turn off a section and then drag another section up as a way of working out what the ordering is of my quote and which parts are not included. So that's probably the first thing I would do when looking at my quote setup. Beyond that, I would then go through all the sections I'm going to use and work out what exactly I want to do per section. So if I click on cover page, this allows me to, for example, change the cover image, which is a pretty straightforward thing to do. Just edit and grab and open. And with this image, uh, you might be taking it off your Instagram or off your uh, Facebook or off previous work images that you've got. Uh, a common thing we actually see people do as well is they will grab the architect renderings off a set of plans. And I quite like that idea as well, just to make the quote more custom to that specific job. Going on down, we're into the letter section. Not too much to say about this. It's it's the, the greeting section. You can change it to whatever you need to. Most common thing people do here is they delete the square brackets, which is probably not the greatest thing to do. Reason being, those are the placeholders and they're really, really useful for where you want to, especially if you're saving a layout, reuse the quotes over and over and over. So for example, I might add one here where I've got, thanks for the opportunity to provide a quote for your new home at works location. And what it'll do is pre-fill the address. It's literally just your way of telling it to put information in from the details area and not having to type that stuff twice. Down into specifications. So specs has a bit more context to it. It's coming from this specs tab here and the stuff in that tab is coming from items that you've either added or typed in yourself or items or and or items that you've hit the s button on within the costing screen to tell it to use them in the specifications kind of regardless of how they got there when we present it in the specs area there's not too many options around it uh, you can just choose if it's numbered or not. However, I'm going to take the opportunity to also point out advanced editing. So each of these sections does have an advanced editing option. My word of advice or kind of caution here is when you get in here, there's some, there are some simple things you can do and there are some more complicated things you can do. So some simple things are, for example, you can change the wording. That's really easy. 
um, or you can click on the banner and change the color. Pretty straightforward. That said, once you start getting into the code side of it, if, if you're not, if that's not really your, your space, your world, um, I would probably suggest against making changes here because there's a chance that you might uh, make a change and it just doesn't load at all. If you do make a change and you go, oh, I really regret doing that, um, you can reset changes here or you can just go exit without saving and it doesn't confirm that. So worth knowing it's there, it definitely has its place, uh, but it's not for everyone, uh, absolutely. Into quoted items, so this is the section I turned off. This, uh, I said it before, no one really quotes the same. Uh, everyone kind of has a different style. So quoted items is great if you need to show, let's say this and this and this and that. You know, you just need to show a lot of detail. But for a lot of quotes that go out, there we go, a lot of quotes that go out, people say, no, nah, way too much information, don't want to show it. Hence, a lot of the quotes that come out of Build Exact are very specification heavy, and this may actually not be on. But jump in, have a good play around, work out what your style of quoting is, depends on who you're quoting for, and uh, you'll be able to work out a style or a setup that fits you. Allowances. So this is coming from estimate costings. This is any time you've used the PC or PS button. And we've basically grabbed that line, added it to here without markup. Well, 99% of the time it would be without markup unless you've gone and messed with the settings a bit and uh, made it specifically include markup. But for most people, if you've just let it do uh, kind of do its default thing, it'll be without markup. Quote summary. This is the final price and you can choose whether it has a bit of a breakdown into categories or whether it shows markup up to you. Terms and conditions, probably a really important part of your quote. You can customize this and uh, I'll also take the opportunity to talk about presets which have been in other areas. If you just want to preset what goes into this box, this might be an, a good a kind of option if you have you know, different terms and conditions for uh, an extension versus a new build versus uh, like a duplex that you might be doing. You can actually save different just variants of one section only and substitute them and that's kind of a good option for people. Lucky last, contact us. Again, we can change the image here, which I will do. We'll go that one. And from here, I'll point out three things. One is if I made a quote and I'm really just wrapped with it, save a layout will allow me to save it permanently like so. And it goes into the select a different layout option so I can use it again and again and again. The other things worth a mention, there we go. Other things worth a mention are if you want to export to preview the PDF version of this quote, export is basically a print to screen and that's exactly what it'll do. You can have a look at it. Share is when you're ultimately ready to send it to the client. So I'm gonna go straight into this step actually and go through the different logic, different things you might do. We'll then show you what the client sees and that will be the end of this one. So things to know, workflows, this is deciding or you deciding how to deliver it to them. So standard is what you're typically familiar with. Uh, it's just send it to them and that's it. Digital acceptance means send it to them and also prompt the client as to whether they want to accept the quote or not. And the box, which we'll show you uh, in a second, says something to the effect of, uh, you know, accepting is you accepting the terms and conditions and will notify the builder. Up to you which way you go. The only word of advice around digital acceptance is um, there may still be circumstances where you need to get documents signed. I'm thinking like contracts, etc. So it doesn't necessarily replace all of those, but it can be really handy to uh, kind of prompt an acceptance from the client. Recipients, who's it going to? And do you want to put in the client portal? So I'm going to say 
actually not for this case and I don't want to send it to that email I'll send it to that one and that one email I'll leave the standard one in there but you can change that as well attachments uh, I'll just I'll leave the standard attachment on there but you can put more on if you need and ultimately share so that's going to fly around space a little bit and when that comes through to me which it should do in only a second or two I'll bring it up and we'll show you what the client would see one thing I haven't really covered on this is the client essentially gets two versions of the quote to look at they get the one that you would be seeing through the export and they get the one that you would be seeing if you click on here and then flick through and preview it the reason we do both I'll just bring this up now reason we do both is the default way the client will see it is to view it and that's the kind of the web based version but they can also download and save the PDF version so there are two distinct versions my personal preference is the one we push the clients to which is the web version looks like this and the reason I like it is that I just think it looks even more professional than a PDF uh, it's one big continuous flow and uh, yeah, it's kind of next level to just having a document. So we'll flick through front page, logo, uh, the cover letter, specs. Now I won't spend too much time here because we've talked about most of these sections. I had images in my specs. I didn't mention that earlier. There's actually a lot of specifications in this quote. Into allowances, of which there are also heaps. Quote summary, terms, conditions, and back page. And from here, the client can accept or they can download. And as mentioned earlier, if they accept, this is the message they get. And it then bounces back to you to let you know that that has been accepted. Perfect. So that pretty much summarizes everything to do with sharing the quote out. So any questions as always, let us know. Thanks very much.